Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We've got two of our trucks on the workbench tonight. We're working into the wee hours in the morning here, just trying to get stuff done. So, first of all, we've got um, our ECX. I am just forgetting the name of this. This buggy at this time, I need to look at the body. Um, yeah, this is our ECX amp. And uh, this truck has done a great job. We brought it to the beach, bashed it in the sand, salt water, etc. Wash it off. I mean, it's still got some staining, you know, a little rust on the screws and whatnot. But this truck has performed very admirably. Um, our good friend, uh, Razor RC, also got one of these. You know, we, we got a couple upgrades on this. Uh, Trax XL5, waterproof speed control, uh, running to uh, a tactic um, controller and a receiver here. Um, stock servo, the previous owner did some waterproofing on here. Now, uh, we bought this off of eBay for like 50 bucks used. Um, the integrated receiver and speed control unit was toast. So uh, that's part of the reason why we got this so cheap. Motor still worked though. We swapped in this new SC and it was good to go. And the, and the new receiver, it's in this Traxxas waterproof receiver box, which is, you know, kind of tie or twisty tied into place. That was just um, a sign of the times. We, we wanted to get this truck uh, on the road in LA at the beach there in Santa Monica um, on pretty short notice here. And it just kind of stuck. It's, it's actually been kind of sitting in the box for a while here. The uh, reason why we've got it on the bench today is that we're going to borrow the tactic uh, combo um, and put it into our Proline Profusion monster truck, which we've got on the bench. Now you can check out playlists for both of these trucks uh, in the video description. We've got an entire series of, of videos on these. Um, our Proline Pro Profusion uh, short course truck here, 4x4, is our latest uh, project. The first kit that we built in 30 years. <laughs> it's on the bench here. Um, we're getting to the final stages. Again, you can check out the playlist for the, the full series on this truck here, but um, super beefy, 10 scale uh, short course, which equates to basically an eighth scale buggy. Um, we, we've got monster truck tires on here, uh, an eighth scale system. This is a, a Hobby Wing 4072, I meaning 40 millimeters in diameter, 72 millimeters long. Uh, pretty monstrous can here for 10th scale. Uh, the Hobby Wing WP SE8 speed control. We've got a host of Kraken RC upgrades on this truck, like the top plate here, the rear, um, or the rear chassis strut, uh, strut shock tower reinforcement, um, and uh, you know uh, the the Proline heavy duty steering um, servo upgrade. Uh, again, check out the video descriptions, check out those video, um, previous videos for the full build of this truck. And really we're getting to the final stages here. So we're going to grab the, the radio, um, receiver from this and throw it into that. Uh, we were debating on whether to go with this, the radio link, uh, RC six GS. But, um, you know, you, you guys, uh, actually we, we did, we did videos on the RC uh, was it the 4 or the 3GS, RC3S or 4GS, RC4GS that we had. Um, we bought one off of eBay, but it was defective, so um, we actually sent that back to the seller. Um, but we were going to go with this, and, you know, just realized that the, the, um, the six channel was overkill because we just need two. Uh, what else? The, you know, one of the things is these exposed antennas, especially when you're bashing out at the track, can be a little bit unwieldy. 
Uh, it's better to have an antenna-less design or you know integrated antenna like the Tactics do. Really like this controller. Um, and also the third thing was uh, the receiver. So the receiver uh, on this has a traditional antenna that comes out, whereas the Tactic, you'll see no such antenna coming out of here. <laughs> it is integrated. Uh, and so you don't have a wire hanging out, which is great for bashing. Um, and also just not having to have something like this, an antenna um, popping out of the chassis here. Uh, this is our ProLine Pro MT 4x4 chassis. Uh, but what we had in, in store for the Pro Fusion is this cage. Again, you can check out the previous videos. This is meant for um, a, a Traxxas Emax or T-Max, a uh, short wheelbase version. We fit it to um, to this truck quite nicely. We, we, we came up with an elegant design for that. Basically, this pops into the back. Um, bumper uh, absorber, shock absorber there, or you know, bumper reinforcement, whatever you call it, want to call it. And then this, we've got this old Traxxas uh, uh, Emax body or battery post here, which has you know it has you put a body pin in there, and this basically slots into a custom uh, just L bracket that we made out of a, a little piece of angle iron, right? Um, you know, just uh, like for, that we bought from Walmart or whatnot. Drilled an extra hole in here, uh, quarter inch hole to fit that battery post, and voila, it locks in with one um, one body clip, and then it can swivel off of that rear mount. We just need to put a bolt and a nut through the back of here. Uh, just a three millimeter bolt will do. Anyways, long story short is we don't want an antenna coming out here. It's gonna get hit or, you know, just gonna be unsightly too. So we're going with the one out of here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off these twisty ties. We'll, we'll mount another receiver in here. But um, let me just go ahead and open up the receiver box. So where is our smaller driver? So these Traxxas receiver boxes are meant for a, a rustler uh, and, and or stampede are great because they are waterproof. That is the wrong one. I uh, will just take out these larger screws first then. Now these waterproof boxes are great because they're small and seal out the receiver from any, you know, like especially salt water that we are running this in. Is extremely corrosive and damaging to electronics, even though they may be waterproof. Um, and this amp was great in that salt water because it's pretty much all plastic except for the screws and the motor and the shock shafts. The drive shafts are all plastic. Nothing here is basically going to rust except for the screws. Um, all right, so we're going to take this out. All right, uh, and I'm just gonna pop these two receiver plugs out, and it's affixed to the bottom of that case using double-sided tape. So I'm just gonna pry this out with a large screwdriver. There we go. Just break that tape bond, and here we go. So. This receiver is super small. Um, we were debating here, I can move this one off to the side, the amp, because we have gotten what we needed from it. All right, so when it comes to mounting the electronics in the Pro Line, we had put a receiver box in to the you know to the the back of the ESC problem is is that our servo wire is too short so um, 
we're going to go ahead and get a servo extension cable, but until that comes in, we're going to go ahead and just mount this receiver um, somewhere on the side here, uh, just like we did on our Pro MT. Just use some double sided tape, mount it on the side of the chassis. Um, so if I plug this in, and so the, the ESC cable is definitely long enough to reach anywhere. It is the servo, the steering servo cable that is the problem. All right, so I will put this into channel one. And let's see where we can put this here. So definitely want to keep it out of the way from the motor. So we might just do this here. Uh, that doesn't give us enough clearance from the battery. Let's see if we can. That might actually work here. Hmm. Sitting a little bit too high. Maybe we'll just put it here. Keeping those wires away from the gears. And there's these integrated clips in these side of the chassis mounts and we'll use some electrical tape just to keep that out of the way too. I think that's what we're going to do, mount it right here on the side. Alright, and just use some electrical tape. Okay. It's one of these servo cables. It's getting frayed too. So where is our tape? Need some electrical tape to reinforce the servo wires that are showing some abuse there. Wear and tear. Should provide some with some with some extra reinforcement here. Too close to the differential cup. Uh, let's try routing them around this way again. some breathing room there. And then we can tape the wire just to the bottom of the chassis here. Let's move that 
actual tape just to make sure that they don't get in the way of those gears. good. Let's put another piece of electrical tape there. It's a little bit tough to get in the tight confines of the chassis here. So an extra layer never hurts. Just to make sure that those these wires are secured and out of the way of those gears. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, before we tape the before we tape that um. servo down, we will just route the ESC cable similarly and yeah, not a huge deal. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do the rest of this on film, but you get an idea. We're going to go ahead and get this wrapped up and tomorrow we shall go bashing in it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.